take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. First up, waterbeds are bad for you back. The problem is that they do not shape themselves to your body in the same way as other superior mattress materials do. This means that the sleeper's muscles spend the entire night strained, in a vain attempt to force the waterbed to conform to the body's desired posture. Let's help you make your mark. Sometimes mold begins to grow on the exterior surface of a waterbed mattress when there is a leak in the mattress. A small leak may go unnoticed for a while, but the warmth and moisture makes a perfect environment for mold. Inspect your waterbed liner for mold, as well. Make your mark, take our lead. Do they still make waterbeds? Yes, it turns out there are still some sleep manufacturers producing and selling waterbeds. They're not nearly as popular or common as they were in their heyday, but they've still got a presence. Let's help you make your mark. While many people wish to believe this, some still have doubts. However, getting seasick on a waterbed is like getting motion sickness from watching a car drive by, it's nearly impossible. Even so, many people still are afraid that they will become sick once they lay on a full motion waterbed. Let's help you make your mark. There were two modes of death associated with waterbeds. In 68 deaths, 86%, the cause of death was listed as airway obstruction. The infants were found in the prone position, face down on the soft, non-permeable surface of the waterbed, and death was apparently caused by airway obstruction. Take our lead. Pro. A modern waterbed is just as supportive as the traditional coil spring mattress, and the heat of the water may help keep your back more limber. Pro. A variety of barriers and baffles within a waterbed can control whether you have full wave action, partial wave action, or no wave action. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.